Today we're going to talk about our tip of the week, um, adding landscape to a rendering. And I know that this is always something that is a struggle in ARCHICAD and a struggle in any of these BIM tools uh, because, you know, you know, landscape just doesn't always look great um, in some of the renderings we do, and it takes a lot of memory to do that. So, you know, one of the things that we can select from an ARCHICAD is we're going to talk a little bit about 3D model based versus 2D based first. So model-based landscape versus image-based landscape. Um, so model-based landscape elements, if you open up ARCHICAD, go to um, just type in tree, and you'll get trees that vary from like a conceptual tree to um, you know, these uh, ones that are, are uh, 3D-based trees like we see here, and tree plans as well. If we select one that's even the, the detailed one, uh, you can see it's detailed. It gives me a lot of options to control uh, the density of my um, amount of leaves on here, uh, the resolution of the crowns, um, you know, when I do a rendering of this, it'll actually look better because these actually have alpha channels built into the leaves. The leaves will look you know, transparent as leaves on, on, on the branches. You can also control how um, detailed the branches are so they look more realistic. Uh, we can also use, oh, let me go back for just a second. Uh, but the con, of course, is with any of these uh, 3D trees is they don't quite look as realistic, particularly when you're moving through the 3D model. So if you were to say this out to BIMX, it's not going to have that really you know, uh, great look to it because it's going to have this kind of, uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, 3D model element that's just not realistic. It also, the polygon count on these can be really high because the more you increase the number of leaves, and the more you increase kind of the, the, the realistic look of the branches and the, the, the tree um, itself, it just can really bog down your model if you've got a bunch of trees in there. Um, now, the ones that are much uh, more realis realistic looking and also quicker in, in terms of ARCHICAD, in terms of um, uh, rendering time and navigation time of the model, are the ones that are called, um, are, well, the 2D trees. Basically, they're trees with an alpha channel in it, right? But they're 2D. So that means that if I look, look straight on, it looks like this. Of course, you can turn off the line around it. Um, and, and if I'm looking at the edge, it's going to look like that, right? It's, it's basically flat. So again, if I save this to BIMX, I'm going to see a flat tree as I'm kind of moving around. Um, so that can also be a negative too. But it does look really, this is really great for renderings because when you do a rendering, you will see a tree like this. Um, that looks really nice, and it, you know, as long as you're not get moving as an animation or walk through through it, it's going to look like a, a very realistic tree. In it. Um, so these are really nice ones to use. A third party um, uh, option that I actually just recently discovered um, is called Archi Radar. Uh, this is the website to it. They have tremendously good ArchiCAD trees, uh, 3D trees. And you can really control these, and they look great in renderings, and they look great in the 3D window. And where we just recently saw this was um, uh, uh, Jeff, Jeffrey Briggs uh, with the Forest Architects um, a couple weeks ago gave us a presentation of a project they're doing on the um, ARCHICAD uh, Learn Virtual in Practice. And um, he showed these this model, and as he's showing this model, everybody was aghast at just how great these trees were. He's moving through the model, and those trees are in the background, they're 3D, and they look, the bark on it looks great. They look like the kind of trees you'd find in the northwest area of Seattle. Um, they were just awesome. And so, uh, of course, he was asked what those trees were, where they came from, and as he talked about them, they were Archi Radar trees. So I would highly recommend taking a look at that. Uh, Archi Radar has a lot of options, um, excuse me, go back to that. They have a lot of options for different types of trees that you can download and use in ARCHICAD. So definitely take a look at that if you're looking for 3D trees. Um, another option, if we go back to our post-processing, um, you know, so because sometimes it's good to take do these in ARCHICAD, the trees, and other times, you know, we can just not even worry about rendering the trees in ARCHICAD. We can just go out and download um, a, um, access to a, a bunch of trees that we can use that have already been um, uh, worked on by another company so that the leaves and everything are transparent. So you just overlay them on top of your rendering in Photoshop or some other 
post uh, some other photo editor. Um, and these trees all have a transparent background to them. Okay, they've already they already works already been done for it. Um, so whether it's trees or whether it's plants that you want to use, this is Dosh Design. Um, that's the uh, uh, DoshDesign.com here. But you can see that you know you can use uh, bring in uh, plants uh, if you want. This is a really great trick. Uh, is they've got a lot of uh, what are called foreground plants and trees. So that you can place like a a tree or, or some foliage in the foreground of your rendering to kind of give it a little bit of a character of uh, instead of just kind of a um, you know, rendering without any kind of nice kind of edge to it. Um, this gives it a little bit of character to uh, your, your rendering. And so these are options with you with that you can find as well in these services as well as people. Um, you know, again, uh, one of the other complaints oftentimes is that if you put the 3D people in art, again, they look like, you know, Kind of 3D based models instead of actual people. And so uh, this is a great way of doing it. You can go onto these types of websites and get access to uh, a lot of um, people as well. So these are options that are out there. I'm not, I'm not telling you you have to go to Dosh Design. There's a lot of different uh, options out there. Some of them um, are you buy an entire suite like this, others are you just you know get a, a subscription and you just you know can access as, as much as you want per month. And then, of course, once you you know have whatever you're going to use, um, whether it's Dosh Design or some other service, that's when you start to layer this stuff on. So this is a great example. Um, this is that project I showed you a second ago. And you know, one of the things we did here, uh, because you know we, we rendered this right, and the client wants to see some of the different types of uh, landscape elements that's going to be applied here. And so that's when we start to kind of overlay some different trees and foliage and um, some of the different types of plants that they had actually specified uh, in their um, landscape plan. And we did all this in the post-processing side because it would have been too much to try to do this in ARCHICAD. So we just basically did the rendering in ARCHICAD, we brought this from ARCHICAD into Photoshop, and then we started to overlay this with some of the various trees um, uh, and foliage and plants and uh, different types of uh, uh, grass in here to give it more character uh, so that, again, we didn't have to go back and re-render this architect. So that is our tip of the week.